from the Center for Oral and Facial Enhancement in Bethesda, Maryland, welcome to Oral Surgery Current Podcast. And here is your host, Dr. H. Ryan Kazemi. Welcome to our Oral Surgery Current Podcast. Today I would like to talk about a common problem for many patients. The problem is loss of teeth due to severe gum disease and loss of significant amount of bone. Proper replacement of missing teeth with dental implants with natural appearance and normal chewing ability cannot be achieved without first addressing the bony defect problem. The issue is that with a lot of bone missing, implants cannot be placed in ideal position or at all in some situations, resulting in very poor aesthetics and function. So the key to success is to rebuild the bone that has been lost due to gum disease and then place the implants in such a position and fashion that supports the crowns and the bridges in their most natural way. With current bone regeneration techniques and surgical approaches, this challenge can easily be overcome and provide patients with a solution that works, that they're happy with, and they can enjoy for years and years. This patient had severe gum disease, which had resulted in almost 100% loss of bone around the lower front teeth, resulting in a bone level much lower than normal. The six lower front teeth were extracted and allowed to heal and then re-evaluated two months later. While there may be adequate bone for implant placement at this level, the final bridge will have very long crowns, which will be both anesthetic and also prone to failure due to stress overload. It is of paramount importance to restore bone level and thickness to allow proper placement of the implants. The implants were the treatment of choice by the patient as denture was not an option and she wanted a fixed bridge. The first consideration was to restore the lost height of bone by technique known as osteogenesis distraction. This requires placement of a very thin plate in the area of the defect. The plate is activated by the patient by a simple turning of a driver causing gradual stretching and displacement of the bone. Each day, one millimeter of bone space is created. In about a week, adequate vertical space can be achieved. This area is then allowed to heal for about three months. This procedure is well tolerated by the patient and there is minimal discomfort during the one week activation phase. This is the x-ray at the time of plate placement. At one week, showing its final position, and at three months showing the healing of the bone. Once the vertical height of bone was restored, the next challenge was to increase the width of the bone. To predict how much grafting and eventual position of the implants, a CT scan was done with a special marker based on what the eventual position of the final bridge will be. Horizontal bone grafting, also known as onlay bone grafting, is performed by placement of various bone materials in the defect, usually consisting of some autogenous bone obtained from the patient mixed with other calcified material. The graft is then covered with a resorbable membrane which allows the bone to heal underneath while keeping the soft tissue out. This is known as guided tissue regeneration. The graft is allowed to heal for four to six months at which time it is suitable for support of an implant. Again, the key to both a functional and aesthetic implant with long-term prognosis and success is presence of adequate bone and tissue support. This bone grafting was performed with bone obtained from where the wisdom teeth used to be. This was then allowed to heal for about six months. And here's the result showing restored height and width of the bone. The x-rays post-operatively show marked improvement in both dimensions, providing an ideal site for final placement and positioning of the implants. Using careful planning with study models and the CT scan obtained earlier, the position of the implants were determined and then recorded using a special surgical guide. The guide is essential for accurate placement of the implants. Four dental implants were placed and allowed to heal for another two months before impressions and placement of the final bridge. This bridge is cemented in place and patient is now able to bite and chew normally and very comfortably. It is easily cleansable and looks very natural. While there were several treatment stages, 
The lifelong solution offered was what exactly the patient wanted. With strategic planning, close communication between myself, the restorative dentist, and the laboratory, we were able to transform this very difficult circumstance into a successful and ideal treatment. I would like to thank Dr. Gene Giannini, the restorative dentist, for his expertise and direction in this patient's treatment. Thank you.